Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and welcome to another episode of Street Photo Diary. So in this episode I'm going to be shooting with one of my all-time favourite cameras, the Nikon D700. So I've had the D700 for oh, 8 or 9 years now and uh, over the years it's become probably my, my favourite camera of all. Um, I still use it today even though it's nearly 10 years old now and uh, I love this camera. So the thing I probably like the most about the D700 is the camera's ergonomics. I think it's probably one of Nikon's best cameras in terms of ergonomics and the subsequent models they changed the control layout and in my opinion it's, they're probably not as good. I don't, I don't like them as much. One of the cool things about the camera is uh, you can pretty much control everything with one hand um, there's, there's buttons for all the functions that you need and they're all kind of clustered around the grip so it makes it really easy to use uh, with just one hand um, and without having to take your eye away from the viewfinder as well it works really well so the Nikon D700 is basically Nikon's answer to the Canon 5D uh, one of the disadvantages of it for street photography is that it is a big heavy camera However, once you get used to that, you don't really notice after a while and uh, it's never really been a problem for me when I'm taking street photos with it. In terms of image quality, the D700 uses a 12 megapixel sensor um, and because it's full frame, the pixels are nice and large so it actually produces a really nice quality image. For the purposes of today's shoot though, I think I'm going to shoot black and white for a change and uh, okay, so let's go shoot some street photography and see how we get on. Okay, so that's pretty much it. As always, when shooting street photography, a lot of it is down to luck. Um, I'm not sure I got some great shots today. Uh, they're okay, but nothing spectacular. However, as I said earlier, I have been shooting with this camera for many years now, so uh, here are some other shots I've got over the years.
Okay, so that's it for this week's episode of Street Photo Diary. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you do, please give it a like uh, with the thumbs up button. That really helps us because it lets more people see the video. And uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to click that little bell button so you get notified when there's new videos. And uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.